I mean, I'm just gonna go out and say it. I don't want anybody touching my butthole unless it's. You know, my mind went right there too. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. The hair. Really. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what does it? For? It's pepper. The peppering of hair. It's just beautiful. Somebody's horny for Michael Myers. This is out of line. Are y'all prepared for this shit though? <laughs> he came in and he had two portraits, uh, two pictures of two guys. One was his husband and one was his lover. And he said he wanted them to look like they were kissing around his booty. So when someone else is fucking him, they are also in on it and it's like a foursome. So he basically wanted them to be sucking the guy's dick that is entering his ass. I love true crime. I mean, I feel like I don't have so to cool. necessarily tell you that. Forensic files! I watch a lot of Laura and Order. Sweat while you listen to them I bet that's the shower where we fingerprints. The, oh my god. Drinking game. We have a forensic <laughs> files drinking game. You can look at this situation, you're like, here's somebody who listens to a lot of true crime podcasts and also needs therapy. Early on in my career, I was tattooing this guy's chest and I laid the stencil on him. And so we're like standing face to face, of course, while I'm laying the stencil on him. And he is probably 18. And he's like, after I laid the stencil, he's giving me like weird googly eyes or something. And he's like, can I kiss you? <laughs> So I was like, yeah, no, no, I didn't. <laughs> no, 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 um, that was a no. This dude comes in, he's gotta be like 50s or 60s. He's got a fucking handlebar mustache and a mohawk. And he wants to get his dead ex-girlfriend's portrait on his butt cheek. So I have to do it. And it's like some real tiny little 80s photo, like big hair. So I can tattoo this dude's butt cheek. And then he comes back later like, I think like the next day, super fucking weird. He's like, I'm a nudist, so I'm totally fine with this. I'm like, I'm not sure I'm comfortable with this because I'm 17 years old. He came back ne the next day to give me a $20 tip and then asked me out to brunch. And I said, I'm gonna stay home. Dang, you should have got that so free much. brunch. I know, everyone says that. I'm not trying to do that with handlebar mustache though. No, I'm not I trying to take man. that mustache for a I'm a dude for breakfast, I don't care. Yeah. When it crosses the line of, I'm only getting tattooed by you to hit on you, that kind of gets really weird. I had a client that I tattooed for a really long time. He seemed really nice. And um, eventually I started getting boxes of gifts to my house under a alias. And that was kind of really weird because it was coming to my private residence. I went to do the Philadelphia convention Art. that was on Valentine's Day. And I got a delivery of roses in my room. And I was like, well, I'm paying a lot for the hotel. So maybe the hotel just gives this cheap bouquet of roses to everybody. And I go to the lobby and I'm like, oh, this is really lovely. And they're like, no, they got delivered for you. And nobody knew what hotel I was staying. So it turns out this client of mine had called all the hotels and figured out where I was staying and then gotten things delivered to me. If you're gonna tell me you like me, send me things under your real name. Don't be that creep that makes me really scared to stay in hotels or travel or do things because I feel like I'm being followed. Yeah. He also had a restraining order from his previous girlfriend, which was really <laughs> like a sealed deal. Forensic files! Somebody walked up to the booth a minute ago and was like, I wanna get his name on me and he kinda like, and I was like, uh, I'm gonna say no. I've got so many chicks' names tattooed on me. It's f***ing bad, dude. Tried to cover up um, my ex-wife part initials. That didn't go so good. I have that same ex-wife over here. Um, I have an ex's name tattooed on me that I need to get covered. <laughs> I work in a military town, so I have like 19-year-old kids coming in all the time. Like, I wanna get my wife's name tattooed. I'm like, you're 19 with a wife? One. I'm out. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, out. first of all, let's put it somewhere where we can cover it later. Name tattoo, two months later, you're single. Every time. I've had so many clients come back to me to get names that I put on them covered up after I told them to not get them. This woman came into my shop, I swear to God, it was like 2001, some bullshit, and got her husband's name tattooed on her. And I did this six times. In different places, different tattoos, love this guy. 
Like, listen, when this goes south, sweetheart, and I adore you, she's a great client, I will cover them all up. But you're gonna pay for them, and I warned her every time. I tattooed her for like two, three years. She came in one time, I swear, I, no joke. This mother had a whole other family. About an hour and a half away in Orlando. Different wife, different kids, different house, the, like the whole shit you see on TV. And I was like, no. She goes, you need to cover this mother name up now. The only time it's ever worked out is on my grandpa, Bob Doty. Um, he had a tattoo on his arm that said Irene. Irene is my grandma. And I was like, that's the only time I've ever seen it work out. Okay. And I had been saying it for a while. And then finally my aunt was like, Kelly, you got you to stop telling people that. And I'm like, why? That's a completely reasonable anecdote. I'm charming. But she's like, yeah, but grandpa didn't get that tattoo for grandma. And I'm like, what? Hey. He was dating another Irene and he had gotten it for her and then they stopped dating. And I don't know what happened after if that just limited his dating choices. And he's like, Irene's only. <laughs> But he happened to marry and fall in love and have a family with a whole other Irene and it just kind of worked out. So once again, my whole family has a history of do the wrong thing, Get reward. yield rewards. This is what I deal with constantly. The guy and the girl came in. The girl was the one getting the tattoo. She was super back and forth. She didn't have the best appearance, so I wasn't 100% sure I wanted to touch her even in gloves. But she was there to get the guy she was with name on her arm, shoulder, wherever she wanted it, it was going to end up there. Except for she didn't turn her location off for her actual boyfriend, and then he came there and tried to fight her and the guy, and then I had to pit all three of them out. But this wasn't at my shop, this was at my old shop, but it was a full, like, it was like a 45 minute situation of like, back and forth, her locking herself in the bathroom, the, the one guy who came banging on the door, and then like, me busting the door open so she could get the fuck out. It was just like a whole shit show. Like, the wildest drug junkie story you ever heard. Wild. Okay, so I did have like a couple that came in. I thought they were a couple, but one was a female dominatrix and then there was like the man who was like her sub. So I was tattooing his and he wanted property of and then the woman's name, right? And like it go all the way around, all the way around the and he was a big buff dude. And then in the end, you know, she was like, I'm gonna need you to like whip him. And I'm like, so she just like pulls out this bag with like all these like floggers and like just all these things like whips and stuff. And I'm like, she's like, take your choice. And I was like, okay. And so I'm like, I hate to like beat my clients, but I was like, I guess if this is what they're paying for, you know what I mean? So I'm like, okay, tip me. I plug in, plug in my machine. I start tattooing and she's like, she won't sit still. So I'm like, like, love, you gotta sit still if I, you want me to tattoo this shit. So she was like, cool. So she's like jumping the whole time. And I'm like, bro, like, does it hurt that bad? And she's like, no. She's like, no, it doesn't. I'm like, is it like tickling? She was like, no, no. So I'm like, dude, like, relax. So come to find out, she was having orgasms the whole time I was tattooing her. Like, my seat moist, like, all kinds of weird. It was weird. It was weird. I'm just like, and I didn't get to finish the tattoo because she wouldn't sit still, but. She definitely finished. <laughs> we had this girl come in to one of my old shops and she asked for her nipples tattooed. And it wasn't like, you know, like the, like tattoo a nipple on. Um, it was like she wanted like legit nipple color changed. And so we were like, you know, why do you want that? Cause it wasn't even like anything around the nipple. Like I've had friends ask me that, totally cool. And she's like, yeah, I want them darker because my boyfriend likes dark nipples. He doesn't like mine. And I'm like, then he shouldn't even be looking at yours and you need a new boyfriend. <laughs> and she was not pleased with it. And she didn't get tattooed there, but like, girl, I did you a favor, get a new man. The guy, his wife, his lover, and her lover, they all wanted uh, like a symbol or some shit like that. And they wanted it on the blood. So I did three guys and one girl. So I, I have the wife kissing her boyfriend while I'm tattooing her husband and her husband's boyfriend. And I'm like, yo, this is life. 